between myself and nine of my favorite YouTube artists. We are here today to celebrate this little piggy's first birthday. So this little piggy powder pigments um, are turning one and I've gotten together with nine of my favorite artists to collaborate in um, some amazing beach theme pours. We have a really exciting collaboration happening and today you're going to watch me um, do my part of the collaboration, which is a really large beach swipe pour. Okay guys, so this is my board. I believe it is a 22 inch round wood panel. Um, it's sitting on top of um, this spinner. It's a Jessica Winterstrom spinner. If you would like to know where I got it from, it is from Jessica Winterstrom. Nice and sturdy, good for the big pours on the ground like this one. So what I'm going to do is one of my newest techniques, which is the beach swipe or the beach scene or the sunset swipe or the many different names it's, had, it's been labeled since we did it. Um, it's one of my favorite ways to cover a larger surface and get lots of nice cells. So hopefully this works first time. Um, don't really want to be dealing with the mess of it not working. So hope you've got your fingers crossed for me. So basically I'm just going to start with um, a white pillow, just as I do in the Shelly Art style of pouring. Um, have all my colors mixed up. I have um, indigo, phthalo blue. I have uh, Matisse Southern Ocean blue. So I've got my big cups of my solid tube colors there through those. Um, and I've got quite a lot of piggies mixed up. So I've mixed up today, simplicity, I've got two mermaids, just in case I need extra, because that's a beautiful colour. I've got macaw, glisten, ball gown, shimmer, and sea glass. What I don't have in here, um, because it doesn't really fit the beach theme, is my favourite piggy, which is the meteorite. Uh, so yeah, take note of that. That is Shelley's favourite piggy, of the moment anyway. It's pretty hard to choose one, but um, the meteorite is, is kind of like pewter. That's a little bit gold, a little bit silver, a little bit brownie, um, and it's just beautiful and versatile, but I'm not gonna be using it today um, in my beach palette. So I've leveled this up fairly well. It's not perfectly level, but I think it's gonna have to do for today. And I'm just gonna get going. So I think I'm on a bit of a time restriction, so I'm gonna get stop talking and start painting. Gonna use quite a big trowel to swipe my um, cell activator across the top of my paints. So I'm not going to swipe it all the way through. I'm just going to go one, two, then I'm going to wipe off the cell activator and the, the, um, the excess paint, and I'm going to load it up again with cell activator again, and I'm going to come through the rest of the pour. Um, I also have mixed up a little bit of um, Harvest Gold with um, a Van Dyke brown paint because that's it's a nice sandy color that's going to come down the bottom here and, and be my beach, hopefully. Okay, let's just get cracking on it. I'm gonna just get their foot, get down with the paint, try to connect and put my good vibes into it so it comes out nice. Don't even know if that works, but I always do it just in case it does work. So I'm gonna put quite a lot of pillow down, probably too much. of mine I keep doing putting a bit too much pillow on and there we go again but particularly with these beach swipes you definitely want to make sure you've got enough pillow because uh, if you don't you're probably not going to be able to get it to to actually spread out properly and, and, and stretch those cells out okay let's do this so I've got some um, indigo here. Nice big strip there. Doesn't hurt to put more up there. It's probably gonna get swiped off if it's too close to the top up there, but it's important to have enough paint on with this particular style, like I was just saying, because we kind of get to tip it side to side before we spin it. So we definitely want to have enough left over. 
to reach our goal. So I've got phthalo blue. So that was Matisse Indigo. I've got Holcroft phthalo blue here. Remembering too that as I'm putting more paint down, it is adding to that pillow. Um, and because it's quite a lot of paint, coloured paint I'm using compared to usual. Oh, hey, Louis. Hey, you are, mate. I wonder if everybody remembers you. Who remembers Louis? Okay, Matisse uh, Southern Ocean Blue. In a couple of stripes there. I'm just going to get straight into these piggies. So the core is our colour shifting gold indigo piggy. Creates some beautiful turquoise and green as it shifts from the gold to the indigo. I'm going to pop that one there like that. And I know Louis um, terrorising me every time I turn around, he's coming into the shop to get his little five minutes of fame. Okay, the mermaid. You give it a quick stir, make sure it's all juicy and glossy. And we're going to go a little bit up here. And quite a heavy bit through that right there. Gosh, I haven't done one of these this big yet. Got way too much paint on there. Shelly, again. Ball gown, we'll help you use simplicity. Okay, I've got the sea glass, which is this beautiful silvery green colour. Definitely want this down the bottom near my beachy, near my my, um, my sand colours. Now, what haven't I used? Shimmer. Shimmer is a beautiful golden green interference duo. Shifts from green to gold and all the pretties in between. I'm not going to use too much of this. It's quite an intense piggy, this one. Really packs a punch with that gold. So I don't want to go too crazy. Although there's kind of a gap there, so I'll just put a big blob there. Simplicity. Hmm. What about this? Extra shimmer. Okay. Um, now my sandy colour, so I'm going to put a bit of ball down, down the bottom here. And my, let me check this out. My harvest gold and Van Dyke brown is going to come down here as well. So I've basically got all my colours on now. So now comes the tricky part. Got a bit of a gap here, probably won't worry too much about filling that up because I have a lot of paint on there. We're going to lose so much of this paint on the side. But in saying that, we do need that um, amount on there because we are going to tilt it side to side before we spin it. So a lot of the paint's going to come off here before we spin it and we should be left with something hopefully very pretty. All right, so without waiting any longer, Let's get this cell activator down on the tool. Okay, so I have got Amsterdam, um, Amsterdam lamp black mixed with Amsterdam Prussian blue. And I've also got a regular white cell activator that is just the Amsterdam titanium white. I'm just going to load them onto my tool together like that. And I'm going to execute my first Gonna get, get a little bit of that off. Okay, here goes. Whew. Just do it. Don't hesitate, just do it. That way. And that way. Now I have to think quickly because I want to swipe a little bit more through there. Please tell me I've got something else here to use. I'm going to grab my white cell activator and maybe a little bit of the blue black I made. And before we go any further, okay. 
of stripe through there because I just didn't like what happened in that spot. I'd rather fix it now than wait. Okay, so I've wiped that off. Now I don't want to wait too long now before stretching these cells out, so I'm going to get going again. My blue black, my white. I'm going to just swirl that out a little bit on the tool. This is a cement trail, I think, by the way, if you're wondering. I don't really know if that's what it is, but pretty sure tradesmen use it. Okay. Now, the reason I didn't swipe all the way through is I didn't want to lose a lot of the, um, um, a lot of these colors I wanted on their own. I didn't want to drag that dark blue down through here. So, now, might be time to pop some gloves on because this is going to get super messy on the hands. Okay. Oh. Half a glove's not really going to cut it, is it? Okay, so hopefully I haven't left that too long sitting there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I want to get that paint off that side like that. And I want to get it off that side like that. So I want to stretch them right out before spinning it and letting it cover the top and the bottom. So here goes. Slow to start. Awesome. Just want to get that dark blue off the top. I lost a lot of my beachy colour down the bottom, but that's okay. Still very pretty. Get a bit more paint off. And there you go. Pretty happy with that. Um, let me lift it up for you so that you can actually see what's happening in that light. Big beachy swipe. So, looking like I've got, got almost enough paint off there. It's a bit like a moody beach, isn't it? come out looking like it's night time. I don't know. I'll have to do like a morning sunset style one next, but I tend to a lot of the time have that moody, probably because of all that all those midnight colours at the top. Just want to get a tiny bit more paint off. Make sure all my sides are covered. So what I'll do now is I'll just get rid of this excess paint underneath. and pop that aside to dry. Don't forget to listen up in a second for uh, all the details to enter our, our first ever uh, TLP competition. All right guys, that's all for now and um, I'll see you next time. Okay guys, so thank you so much for watching and um, I do have some information for you about the competition. Um, a TLP prize pack and Fluid Art Co gift voucher is up for grabs. Um, the long awaited information that you need to, to enter the competition is here now and I'm going to tell you. All you need to do is take note of all of the 10 artists in this collaboration Take note of their favorite TLP color. Um, head over to the Facebook um, Piggy page, which is the This Little Piggy group in Facebook. Um, join the page. All you have to do is comment under the competition post the 10 code words, which is our favorite TLP color. 
um, just yeah, note the 10 code words down under the competition post and you will be in the running to win an amazing um, TLP prize pack. So yeah, don't miss that. Get in there and enter. And I just wanted to say thank you very much for watching. And we are going to launch the TLP YouTube channel very shortly. The video that you just saw here today uh, will be our first video on the channel. And I would like to invite all of my amazing artist friends that collaborated with me in this um, TLP birthday bash party collaboration um, to, to join us in uploading videos on the TLP channel and yeah, hope you guys love it. So thanks for watching and bye for now.